embrace you I lift my voice to praise you My concrete heart won't stop me My concrete heart won't stop me Hey friends, it's Pastor Chris. Thanks for joining me for another children's sermon. I'm here in the sanctuary this week, and I thought that I would read one of my favorite books to you, uh, one that has to do with uh, the idea of having enough, having more than enough, and that book is called Mama Panya's Pancakes. So I'm going to get started because this is going to take a little bit, so hang in there, sit back, and enjoy the story. Mama Panya's Pancakes, a village tale from Kenya, written by Mary and Rich Chamberlain, illustrated by Julia Cairns. Mama Panya sang as she kicked sand with her bare feet, dousing the breakfast fire. Adika, hurry up, she called cheerfully. Today we go to market. Surprise, I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. Adika stood in the doorway, dressed in his finest shirt and cleanest shorts. I'm ready. Now, Mama, Panya had to hurry. After sorting her pots, gathering her bag, and slipping her feet into her sandals, Mama Panya called. I'm ready too, Adika. Where are you? Here I am, Mama, two steps ahead of you. He sat under the baobab tree, Mama Panya's walking stick in hand. Why, yes you are. She accepted the stick and led them down the road. What will you get at the market, Mama? Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. Are you making pancakes today, Mama? You are a smart one. I guess I can't surprise you. Yay, how many pancakes will you make? Mama fingered two coins folded in the cloth tied around her waist. A little bit and a little bit more. Rounding the corner, they saw Mize Odolo sitting by the river. Habari za asubuhi, Mama asked softly, so she wouldn't chase away the fish. Adika blurted out, We're having pancakes tonight. Please come. Adika, Mama whispered in his ear. Mize Adolo waved back, saying, Asante, Sana, I'll be there. Mama quickened her pace. We had to invite Mize, Adika said. He's our oldest friend. Hurry up, you're a few steps behind, Mama replied. Look, Mama, it's Sawandi and Naiman. Adika's friends tapped long reeds against the thighs of their cattle, moving them along. I'll be just a few steps ahead. Wait, Adika, Mama called. Mama hadn't gone too far before he returned. They'd be happy to come, Adika panted. Mama Panya frowned, thinking about the coins in her wrap. Oh, how many people will that be? Let's see, Zawandi, Naiman, you, and me, Adika counted, and Mize Adolo. That's only five. Aye! How many pancakes do you think I can make today, son? I am one step ahead of you, Mama. You'll have a little bit and a little bit more. That's enough. At the market, there were many buyers and sellers trading fruits, spices, and vegetables. Adika spotted his school friend, Gamila, and her plantain stand. Mama, she loves pancakes. Now, now, don't you? But before she could finish, he ran to greet his friend. Mama tried to catch up, arriving just in time to hear, You will come, won't you? Of course, Camila replied. Mama shot a stare at Adika and quickly grabbed his hand, whisking him away. Mama, we'll be able to stretch the flower. Ay ye, how much do you think I can stretch flowers, son? Adika waved his hand in the air. Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. At the flower stand, Mama said, Adika, you sit here. After greeting Bibi and Boana Zoena, Mama asked, What can you give me for my money? She offered the larger of the two coins to Bibi Zoena, who scooped a cup of flour onto a brown piece of paper. Adika popped up. Mama's making pancakes today. Can you come? Oh, how wonderful. I think we can give a little more for that coin, 
Buona Zoena put a second cup onto the paper, then tied it up with a string. We'll see you later. Mama tucked the package into her bag. Ay, ye, ye, you and I will be lucky to share half a pancake. But Mama, we have a little bit and a little bit more. Kamadika, keep up with me. We may have just enough left for a small chili pepper. Leave it to me, Mama. I'll get a good one. No, Adika, she cried. But he ran ahead to Rafiki Kaya's spice table. Mama got there just in time to hear, Mama's making pancakes tonight. Can you come? I'd love to, Kaya exclaimed. She grabbed the coin from Mama's hand and replaced it with the plumpest pepper. That's just enough. Thanks for inviting me. Mama just sighed. They headed home. How many people did we invite for pancakes tonight? Adika skipped two steps ahead, singing his reply. All of our friends, Mama. Mama piled small twigs and sticks into the fire pit. Adika ran to fetch a pail of water. Mama crushed the chili pepper in a pot while Adika added some water. She stirred in all the flour, seeing there would be none to save. Mama poured a dollop into the oiled pan on the fire. Sawandi and Naiman were the first to arrive, shouting, Hodi, Adika called, Garibu, to welcome them. They carried two leather drinking gourds filled with milk and a small pail of butter. Mama Panya, we have extra from our cattle. Miseodolo came soon after. Old Man River has given us three fish today. Gamila arrived with a plantain bunch perched on her head. They go very well with pancakes. Bibi and Buana Zoena brought a package filled with more flour and handed it to Adika. Store this away for later. When Rafiki Kaya arrived, she bought handfuls of salt and cardamom spice along with her thumb piano. And the feast began as they sat under the baobab tree to eat Mama Panya's pancakes. Afterwards, Kaya played the thumb piano and Miseo Dolo sang slightly off key. Adika whispered with a gleam in his eyes and a smile on his face. I know you will make pancakes again soon, Mama. She smiled. Yes, Adika, you're one step ahead of me. The end. One reason I like that story is because of the words, just a little bit and a little bit more. Today in our gospel reading that we have at church that you can hear on uh, the online service, it's about the, the widow who comes to the, the temple and she gives just two small coins. This amidst a number of people who were giving much, much more. She had just a little bit, but yet she gave it, hoping that there would be a little bit more in her experience of giving. You see, when we come to God's house, we bring who we are and what we have. And so those two small coins, they were what they were. But they became part of God's project. They become, became part of, of God's house. They became part of God's people's experience. And that's what we bring when we come to church, when we're part of the community of believers. That's why we're members here, so that we can know and take part in the kingdom of God knowing that what little we have will be enough. It will be just a little bit and a little bit more. That's good news. So when we hear good news, you know what we do? We pray. Let's fold our hands and bow our heads, or you can hold your hands up like this, like I've been doing, and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for giving us just a little bit and trusting that it can be just a little bit more. Help us always to bring what we have, to take part in your love that all the world would know and that all the world would experience God's great love. And all God's children said, amen. Thanks once again for being with me. I hope you enjoyed this story. Again, it was Mama Panya's Pancakes, and you can probably check it out at the library. But uh, I hope that we're able to be together soon. But until then, stay well, be safe, and know that God loves you. Bye-bye.